Hello and welcome to Nagash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you how to simulate the properties of this particular Nigerian block in Autodesk Revit. Now the walls and buildings in Nigeria are made up of this either 9 inch or 6 inch block that have this particular hollow shape and that is how we kind of design our buildings or it's almost like you stack the blocks together to make the walls. The reason why the Nigerian blocks have this particular shape where there is a space or there are two spaces in between is just to act like a thermal layer to allow insulation into the building so the building is not too hot. But in Revit, you can recreate a wall that has these stacked blocks on them the same way you would create another wall. So I'm going to show you how to simulate that in case you want to use this for analysis and also energy analysis inside of Revit. So I'm going to open a new project file now. I'm going to use metric to actually do this. I'm going to just click OK. Now this is actually very simple so i'm just going to click a wall now and i'm going to use generic um the basic generic wall 200 but i'm going to have to make changes to that wall so i'm just going to go ahead and select this wall and then click edit type and to do that we're just going to move over here and then choose to duplicate that type so i'm going to duplicate this type and let's just call it 225 millimeters 225 mm generic wall I'm just going to click OK and then we're going to go over to edit and you can see the structure of the wall is selected by category. What you want to do now is to go ahead and click on the interior side here. Go ahead and click insert. You're going to insert another boundary and you're going to go ahead and click another insert. So we're going to insert it twice. So the first one, you can leave it as structure one. The second one, we're going to change it. But the last one here, we can go ahead and change this from structure to maybe the second one we can change it to finish number two and assuming this is going to be the interior wall for this part we're going to change this to the thermal air layer now based on the dimensions of the nigerian block walk what you're going to have to do now is to create the first structure that is going to be the outside and we're going to just call make this 50 millimeters press enter and the thermal layer we're going to make this 150 millimeters and for the other finish layer inside, we're going to make it 20 and we're going to also make it 50 millimeters. Now you notice that 50 and 50 is quite thin. So you have to choose a correct material that can actually simulate the material of the block work. So instead of just using by category, we're going to change this. Change the material of this one to maybe a concrete material lightweight and then go ahead and click OK. I'm going to do the same for the finish layer number two and have that concrete layer by lightweight now in order for it to have maybe a plastering on the other side we can change this to finish one and then insert another layer and call this finish two you can choose to select this one and push it down and then after the concrete lightweight you can have a plastering so you can just choose let's say gypsum wall board just to represent the plastering and then have that in there and we can call this maybe 10 millimeters have that in there so we have 260 so we're going to have to drop this guy to maybe 120 for the air layer it's at 230 now so we can go ahead and make this 105 so we now have our 225 block work with one thermal layer in the middle and then the concrete lightweight on the outside. This is going to accurately simulate the behavior of the block work that we have for Nigerian blocks. Let's go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and click OK again. Now you can go about drawing your walls the way you would normally in Autodesk Revit. And I'm just going to just click cancel so you can see the wall now. What you want to do next, you can just go back to the detail level and then choose fine. So you can see the fine level now inside we have the block walk let me just change this from thin lines or from thick lines to thin lines so you have three layers now we have the concrete layer on this side we have the air layer on this side you have another concrete layer here and of course the thin finish that could be representing the inside face on this other side so that is how you can go about simulating it and during your calculations your energy analysis is going to factor in the fact that there's an air layer in there so that's how we can go about simulating it if you found this video useful, do leave a like on it and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more architectural and structural videos like this here on the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.